earlier today, September 6th, Nick offered quite quite the proposition. He said, hey, Norman, would you like to be an author of your own book? Of a book that could help change the world. And when he delivered the, uh, the question earlier, I thought, yeah, of course I want to be part of making a book that helps change the world. And um, we went for a walk after dinner, um, you know, way after he asked that question. And he just asked me again, hey, Norman, what is the difference with what you thought the book could do for you as uh, before dinner with that question and what I think the book could do for me now? And uh, before, I was definitely thinking about how building a book for the world to learn by and communicate by is exactly like it sounds like, something productive for the world, for our communities. And not until now did I, I kind of personalize the challenge that Nick offered me. Instead of feeling exceptionally uh, selfless and like wanting this information to reach everybody so that they could improve their lives, I really thought about it from a self-centered point of view. And I said in my head, you know, I said to myself, and then out loud to Nick, that this book would change my life and improve the lives around me most immediately. Like, look at this not as something that'll just improve the world, but will improve my world. And I, I didn't have that conclusion until just a few minutes ago. Uh, the, the biggest consequence of this realization that I, I can personalize this endeavor uh, and not feel explicitly selfless in it um, triggered uh, Nick to ask another question. He's like, well, then a year ago, why didn't we do this project of you writing this book that would will change the world for the better? And I actually had a pretty uh, straightforward resounding answer, and that's because a year ago, I was in the middle of truly learning through Miss Lane and understanding what it does to me mentally. Uh, as in the reparenting, the reprogramming that my mentality is going through. I, uh, until before tonight, what um, have been really using Thuma's Lane to grow and, and shed my old habits, my old ways, uh, my old miscommunications, most specifically. And with his question tonight of like, what would the book do for you now? And why didn't we do it a year ago? Well, I've been practicing Thuma's Lane since uh, the summer 2019, August, is when I got my first taste of it. And being, well, it's September 2021 now. And uh, now I'm starting to have a, a strong grasp of what this nomenclature is and really what it's doing to, to me and my, and my consciousness and my, um, my way of understanding things. And uh, after a while of feeling very raw, as in, I took a hard look at how I was built and started um, taking away the parts that were no longer helping me become my ideal self. Uh, that now enough time has passed from that happening, using Duma Slang to build me up, using um, you know serious goals to keep me orientated on a particular path do I feel like I'm capable of writing this book without disorientating it? Two years of robustly and, and, and very practically going through what these definitions for social clarity mean to me. I'm no longer guessing their strength. I'm no longer guessing their, you know, the weight that this system has. I feel like I understand it um, 
in enough capacity that uh, that I, I feel like I can write a book about how it's changed my life, how it has the power to change your lives, and then eventually uh, a planet. <laughs>